Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 19. We got foodstuffs. Yes, we do. We got foodstuffs. How about you? We got corn. We got cow. No, we actually got caribou. We got, uh, well, plenty of animals who tried to get in here and basically eat some of the crops that we had going down. Growing season is over, which is why we've been doing, well, pretty well on the hunting front. I would say so myself, at least. We do have some animals who had some hypothermia problems. We should probably put a heater in here. I mean, these have already been ruined by temperature. It's pretty sad. Don't even start with the despacito to me. Is that how you pronounce it? Des I haven't actually. Look, I'm not, I'm not a very hip savvy kid anymore. Okay, I'm 30. I'm not even almost 30. I'm 30. I don't know what despacito is. I think it's some kind of song that never ends. At least for the fact that everyone's always having Alexa play it. How you doing? Ironheart with the plain leather. What are you making? Gonna, oh, you're not making anything. You're just hauling it to this stockpile. I appreciate that. Yeah, we got these stockpiles banging out some good materials here. We're making some sculptures. We're making some hand tailoring benches. It's all pretty good. We got ourselves a Resurrector Mech Serum. Just in case somebody uh, bites the dust, we can have them unbite it. We also have like a thousand extra corn sitting in here. It is pretty great. And that's why I don't have this place uh, really set to be anything as far as temperature controlled. Nah, I want the temperature control to be over here. Eventually, I do want to put a heater in here for these chicks. I suppose I could. You know, I said I was going to do it, and then I didn't because I am kind of a dingus. But let's try it this, you know, let's try it for this season. Let's cover this up and try to use this geyser for heat. We should be able to do it. Playing some hoop stone. Look, I'm not here to complain. You do what you gotta do, Rostos Balkan. Oh yeah, also say hello to uh, Dobrowolski. Dobrowolski, uh, aka uh, Mika. Uh, you said you have a different name, but that's okay. Story writer. He's 18. He likes art. He's trigger happy. He's an aesthetic. Trigger happy dude should probably have like a like a quick shooty gun instead of a. Instead of a pumpy gun, huh? Maybe. I don't know. I think they both have their advantages, but I do think... I do actually think a quick shooty gun would be better for them. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and trade off that, uh... A shotgun. For something a little quicker. Thankfully, all the dead rabbits out here are, uh... Frozen. Our boys that are away, Wispy, Silvermane, Parish, and Burns, are coming back home. It's thanks to them that we have that Resurrector Mech Serum in the first place. We are going to probably miss out on this prisoner camp. 1.1 days is actually not too bad. And then over here, 1.4 days if we wanted to go to the peace talks. I mean, could we make it? Yeah. Are we going to put the effort? Uh, no, probably not. Anyway, let's... Let's build this up here and see if we can use the uh, heat from the steam geyser to keep these chicks in a slightly better way. Alright, we're actually going to knock a spot down. Basically knock all these spots here down. Hey! Terry's been broken. Not in the bad way. This very neurotic, tough cannibal. I don't like very neurotic, but the other things are actually not that bad. I may actually bring this guy on board nonetheless. There we go. Alright, we almost got the whole thing roofed up. There we go, now we got the whole thing roofed up. It is... Wow, that thing just shot out one thing of, uh... of warm air, and it's already like... It went like 10 degrees in there. This might work. No, don't uninstall it, please. Do me this favor. Move it over. This is well. Do me this favor. Move it over. All right. Wow, yeah, that's working. Okay, I tell you what. Let's deconstruct this vent. There you go. We'll let animals move through there. I guess I'll go ahead and run out another slate flagstone tile right here as well. 
Ooh, it's getting warm quickly in here, actually. 30. Let's get up to 30 in here. These animals can only handle up to 40, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Wispy and the gang are back. Welcome back. Burns, my professional puncher dude. My main man, Silvermane. Wispy. I'm a good doctor with the plant work to prove it. And Parrish. My original sentry, my original guard. Please, immediately get to uh, taking care of this, this butchering, because that needs to get done. We lost enough animals to hypothermia, okay? But yeah, this should actually work out for us. I know I'm gonna move. Hey, I'm gonna move this zone. I'm gonna move it like this, and then I'm gonna shrink it like this, so that we move it over. That way, we can have, at least have a little bit of a. Oh, that that was beautiful. Thanks, God, you did that. I guess. But yeah, this looks like it's gonna work out. I mean, it will get incredibly hot later, and that's something to keep in mind. But for now, I think this works just fine. You know, when the doors actually stay closed, it's pretty nice in there. Anyway, we need to get rid of some of these eggs now, so, uh... I'll tell you what. Let's... Go ahead and take these eggs out. Rolstel's bulking. No, don't eat him, please. Get these eggs out of here. Thank you, sir! All right. While it's winter, we probably just won't use any eggs. Gunsmithing is done. Manually operated guns like revolvers, pump shotguns, and the etc. It's pretty nice. I don't think we can make any guns in a smithy, though. Not quite. So we would need to make, of course, a uh, machining table, which would require five components. Thankfully... We got five from that big old beautiful battle. Problem is, that would be all of our components. Which we can't rightly afford right now. Gunsmithing is good. Blowback operation will give us even better guns. As you can see. Auto pistols. Machine pistols. All good. All excellent even. Black armor is also an option. But I want to go to blowback operation so that we can get our gun turrets. I'd like to go ahead and actually get a replacement turret going. Speaking of which, we actually do have a replacement turret. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead and slap that baby down. Be perfect. Could even be professional, but let's not get that twisted just yet. But yeah, the extra turrets are definitely wonderful. And our rooms, I mean... A couple of them are cold. Don't get it twisted. Yikes, that's a bad... Scar there, Dr. Savage. On his right eye. That's really bad for a doctor. To have bad eyesight. Probably going to need to get that replaced eventually. But at least he can handle the temperature. That's good to know. We got some make parka orders, right? Yeah, we're making parkas. Don't even worry about it. Alright, eventually I still do want to go ahead and get a comms console. I have to... Now, I said I'd look it up. I said I would check, and I didn't. Gotta figure out what I need to research in order to make that comms console. It might be elect microelectronic. Oh, there... The, yeah. Unlocks the comms console. There you go. Well, okay. I guess we're, uh... We're shifting gears here. Let's get the comms console going. I need to do trades. Alright. We need to start, uh, getting more components here through the fine art of trading stuff for other stuff. I really think the machining table would be nice to make. I just think it's a bit early to make it, you know? I could also, like, put it right here, and it would already have a, a bench. <laughs> I don't know, could you, could you have two people working back-to-back -back like that? Maybe? Probably? I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'll probably regret it, but let's 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 do it up. I know it's gonna have a work speed penalty. You don't have to get you don't even have to joke with me about that, okay? 
Got a little bit of meat harvested. Some of the hairs up and done. Tattered peril, minor break risk, not too much to worry about, I don't think. We do have a lot of meals and pemmican to make, though. We're falling behind on that. We also got a decent amount of berries in here, which is good for our chicks. Dang, that was done fast. Now we can disassemble mechanoids, which we, there are none to disassemble right now, but we can do that forever. Uh, steel and chem fuel for high explosive shells, pretty great. We can make better helmets, although they take components and plasteel. We can now make revolvers, which take components as well. So we got guns. Or the ability to make guns, I should say. Bolt action rifle wouldn't be that bad. It's obviously going to take components as well. But decent range. Decent damage. It is a decent gun. Needless to say. We can also make frag grenades with the uh, chem fuel as well. EMP grenades? Yeah, I was going to say, they probably take components. And the incendiary launcher takes components as well. Basically, we need components. Yes, we do. We need components. How about you? And the comms console, we'll figure that out once we can actually get it down somewhere. But this is working out alright. Our chicks are going to be fine now. We've unlocked the secret of that, of that little puzzle. we also got, like, a lot of hay in here, so... As soon as you guys want, as soon as they're out of this hay, or this, these berries, that's what they're called, we can go ahead and maybe make some hay. I'm just saying. I don't know what's more surprising, the fact that this stuff hasn't died in the cold yet, or the fact that uh, we haven't done anything with these animals yet. This mask has experienced an inspiration. She'll move faster for the next eight days. It's pretty great. We have one unowned space. Could give it to Terry. We could give it to Ellis. They're both cannibals. <laughs> One of them is a night owl, though, and I really like that. He's also pretty decent at mining. He's not a good fighter, but he has some good traits to him. Terry, on the other hand, could definitely pick up a gun as a child spy. I don't know. Are they both from a trunk? No, one of them's from the Gauntlet Men. Trump likes us, I should say dislikes us a bit less. A very bit less. Hoy vey. Yeah. I don't think we're going to make friends with them anytime soon. Since they're a permanently hostile faction. Dude, we're gonna make some allies, too. I'd love to call the Dindler Common Covenant over a few times and try to make an actual friend with them. Yikes. Goodwill is over 50. It starts to drop, naturally. So, if you do get high goodwill, you need to start working on that to make it stay that way. It's really good to know. It's a tough choice. I mean, I could always just recruit them both and then convert this into a barracks until... until I can find somewhere to put more bedrooms. I could always put more bedrooms up here. Not really much harm in that. Then we could convert all of this into, into like, you know, stockpile zones and the like. Only problem is that would position us for nighttime raids, that would position us pretty far away from actual defenses. Which is a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Does anybody not have a weapon right now? Because we have a couple of decent pistols. I mean, we got Miss Mask with this amazing heavy SMG. Ironheart with this masterwork rifle. Silvermane, you're rocking a normal rifle that's a little damaged, but it's still almost definitely better than this auto pistol. So I'm kind of tempted to not do anything with that. Dr. Savage, you could use a weapon upgrade, though. So whenever you're done changing pants, why don't you go ahead and change pistols as well? My dude. Okay. Very nice. Silvermane, so, what are you doing that's so important? Who can find meals? I understand this, I do. But I think I want you... I mean, you got the most cooking skill, by far. You are... You are the cooking king around here. So can I get you to uh, finish that fine meal and then maybe take out some of these animals, do some butchering? Local hares gone mad. Everybody hold on to your butts. So we got burns and perish for. 
All right. I don't know exactly where that hair is going to be coming from yet. Probably the west side. Yep. There it goes. All right. Easy peasy. Mmm. Man. Burns didn't even care. Very well done, my dudes. Hey, there's a good revolver here, too. Let's compare the revolver to the pistol since we got them right next to each other. I see 88, 83, 50, 38 on accuracy with 12 damage. So it hits hard at a range of 26. Auto pistol, though. 10 damage, range of 26, 88, 77, 44, 33. I mean, you know, with the exception of the long range, the longest range, the revolver kind of has the pistol beat. Look at that uh, melee damage as well. That's eh, about the same. Stopping power. Hits from this weapon will stagger targets. 0.5, 1.0, armor penetration 18 for the auto pistol, 15. I mean, the biggest thing is going to be the cooldowns then, right? One second cooldown with a 0.3 second warm up compared to the revolver, which is a 0.3 second warm up with a 1.6 second cooldown. So the revolver is more accurate at most ranges, except for the longest, and it punches a little harder. So there is a good case to be made for the revolver. For shorter ranged combat. That said, I think in general, the auto pistol is probably just slightly better on most fronts. Anyway, we're we're gonna make some meat here. Silvermane has already decided that's gonna be his mission because I told him to. Look at that! Look at these chicks. The perfect. Bert eggs, please. Sure, there's a way to tell it to uh, only do viable eggs, but eh. don't touch these eggs for now. Because yeah, I know you'd move them around if you could. I want to see if we can get some non. Damn it. Okay, you know what? Expand the zone again. Screw it. We'll see if we can get some good eggs in there eventually. If not, we use them for food for a while. You know how it is. Why did you... Why did you make these... Uh, never mind. You don't eat raw corn. Unless that's all we're giving you. And it is, because we don't have any non-raw food right now, because... Well, we got a lot of butchering to do. Yeah, okay. Silverman, you the one of the break risk? Yeah, go ahead and butcher that animal. And then uh, you're good for now. Right? You can keep butchering in the morning. After some recreation time. It'll be good. It'll be good. Don't even start getting it twisted. Unless you have to. But don't! Anyway. See, there's eight large sculptures. That means we might have another one done over here. Yeah, there it is! A Doc Savage marble large sculpture. Parrish's hairstyle. It's Benjamin Jalet being mutilated with a long sword with cold efficiency. Parrish is burying his teeth. As he does. It takes place in the outskirts of a township. Good job. Obviously, this goes to Parish, because it's an artwork of Parish. There you go, my dude. May it brighten your day and liven up your night, or something like that. I don't know. All right, there we go. Now we got them all bundled together. Cool. Those eggs should last a long time as well. All right. Man, every time we butcher an animal, like, two take its place. Alright, Silvermane. Have you entertained yourself? When you're done entertaining yourself, please go back to butchering. It begins. The Great Butchery of 20... or 5502. I don't know. I, I was, look, I'm 3,000 years in the past. I can't even math right now. Alright, leave me alone. We are lowering that resistance like crazy. 
So if we're going to try to keep either of them relatively happy, it's going to be a trunt. But that doesn't even seem worth it, because he's really hostile, too. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe it's none of it's worth it. Maybe it's all just bad. I don't know if you should be doing cooking, Soborowski. I mean, maybe in some universe, but right now, prioritize literally anything else. Because it seems like he would he would make problems. Not on purpose, but he would accidentally make problems. Look how we have our gold and silver out here, and everything else is just kind of over in different spots. Not that that's a big problem. Finally getting rid of some of these chicks, which are taking up way too much room for five chicken meat. Alright. Winter is about to begin proper. So... Seriously, hold on to your butts. Alright. Alright, Silvermane. Chop up that animal. Drop off its meat. Go get some yummies. Probably should not have eaten raw corn. But alright. I feel like... I feel like nobody's actually cooking. Who's, who knows how to cook? Dark Shadow's trying. Oh, you know what one of the problems is? It's too cold in here. I'm almost tempted to put a campfire in here instead, but... Let's, let's brighten it up so they can cook a little bit faster. Gotta do something. While we're at it. Go ahead and reclaim this wood. Winter has begun. Don't get it twisted. We have an actual egg that is actually progressing. It's also 41 degrees in here. They actually need to open that door every once in a while to let the vent... To let the air vent out. That's nuts. Otherwise, it gets too hot. Our chickens have an interesting life. Needless to say. That said, it's not bad. Not bad at all. You know what? Let's, uh, pave... Let's pave all this up. Might as well. Alright, that'll help with the temperature in here. A little bit. Not a lot. Maybe it'll get high enough where it won't get hurt by the temperature. The work speed. But I can't promise anything. At least not right now. Alright, Silvermane, how you feeling? Make some pemmican? I understand this, I do. Tell you what, though, my dude. After you made that pemmican, let's get you doing some more, uh... Some more butchering. We need to take care of all these animals. I'm really starting to think I need another butcher table. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But I do feel like that might be an appropriate action to take here. I could make this room just a little bit bigger. And then I can have two tables, like, there and there, and just increase this. Bring this down a little bit. I think I'm going to do that. And then we'll go ahead and actually have a roof just extend over to this. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Butcher creatures forever. We're not worrying about kibble yet. Kibble is far more effective than just hay, but... For the time being, until we, until I feel better about our meat production, I'm just going to hold off on it a little bit. I think we need to start making simple meals out of veggies. We just need to make more meals. Alright, Silvermane. I'm going to let you go for now. Yeah, go, eat your, go eat yourself a fine meal. That'll take care of you for some time. Okay. Cool. Keeping ourselves busy. Rocking out projects. It's what we do. Combat supply from the Dindler Common, Common Covenant. That's a good thing. We have weapons. They might be interested in what we have to offer. Only one way to find out, and that is to get the action started. But could be a very good thing happening right here. Alright, Silvermane's gone to bed. He's doing good. 
We also don't really need to be feeding these guys, I suppose, if we're just keeping them around for nothing. I do kind of like Ellis more, though, than Terry. I just don't like that very neurotic, but I like the fact that he can fight for us. They both have seven social skill. Do I want another researcher who can do plant work and mining? Or do I want a shooter who can do a little bit of plant work and animal work? I think I would rather have Ellis. He's going to be a lot harder to recruit. So, you know, if it doesn't work, maybe we'll just give up on trying to recruit him for a while. We'll see. Take it slow. We do have a pretty big group as it is right now. So that's something to keep in mind, too. They also have way more corn than we'll ever need. <laughs> Maybe not ever. Obviously not ever, but, you know, we have a lot of corn is what I'm trying to get at. All right, and then we just uh, build the door down by one. Cool, cool. And then we do the deconstruction dance. And we're going to want some granite tile. I don't know. Well, we do have a little bit of granite. We should. Oh, we don't even need to do that. That's already there. Cool. Perfect. Look at that. Now, I do want to fix this up a little bit, though. You know what? We'll just have all this be paved tile. And I'm going to replace that with a granite tile. There you go. A little bit bigger on the dining room front. It's somewhat impressive. Should keep our moods high. High moods are what we need. Let's get two people butchering. Uh, Dark Shadow, you are next best uh, when it comes to this stuff. So, there we go. This is what we need. How much meat does that Mega Sloth give us? 360. My God. That's good stuff. All right. Now I'm feeling better. Now I'm feeling a lot better. We're not making any meals, but we're making plenty of food. We're going to eat some raw food for it. We, I forgot about the... They didn't la They didn't even... He didn't even come in. I don't even think you fully came in. Leaving leaving because of the cold, I bet. Oh, that's butts. Oh, they had a masterwork sniper rifle that I would have never been able to afford. Medicine. Eh, a minigun. I mean, the charge rifle is amazing. That would have been great. Salt rifle would have been really good, too, but... Eh. This is fine. This is more important, I think, and uh-oh. One of the coolers died. Not a big deal right this second, but... When the seasons turn, that's going to become a much bigger deal. So, you know what? I think we do need to start thinking about how we're going to do trades. <sighs> Closest place for them to the Diddler Common Covenant is here. That's 11 days away, or 9 days away, during during this season. Ugh. I could make a Trunk not hate us. It would just be difficult. Because they're not a pirate band, they're just an outlander union, and they don't like us right now. I could get them to like us. And then we'd be fine. Hopefully. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Silvermane, yeah, you, you've already stopped. Dark Shadow's already stopped. Could. Look at that! Mm mm! Yeah, baby! There's a lot of animals to hunt, but I don't think any of it's needed. Well, eh, might want to take care of those predators roaming about, but other than that. We even have a couple of chicks that are going to hatch. It's going to be nuts. Woo! It's warm in there. Oh, 60 degrees. That's Celsius, my dudes. That's pretty darn warm. Uh, we do have some starving chicks, so I tell you what. What's the zone? Expand chicken zone. It's not really... I guess I could let them go across here. To come into this room. And then get the food that way. I mean, it does still touch the tops of some of these zones. 
which I'd rather them not eat the plants from, but... You know, at least that'll let them come over and get food. If they can walk over there. I mean, if they can, we'll just we'll feed them corn when they fall down. But one of them's made it. Two of them's made it. They ain't no dummies. Also, part of our clear snow area should probably include this walkway here. And this to this. And I don't remember how the rest of that is, so we're just going to leave that for now. Iron Hearts in a suit and frenzy. That's pretty great. I'm not complaining, at least. Holy jeez. I don't think one... I don't think one heater is enough for all this. We're going to need a second one. I suppose I could band the heaters together eventually into one spot. But it'd pretty much be tough either way. Uh, did that egg hatch, or did we just... I don't think that egg hatched. I think we just ate it. Either that or it froze. I'm not sure which happened, but either way, we're making meals. That's what's important. We got more art. Darkness for Silence. It's excellent. By Doc Savage. A salamander sitting on a table eating a pumpkin. Takes place in the middle of a district. Very well done. Who gets this nice piece of beauty? Uh, probably one of our couples, because they could use it. Ironheart and Rolstel's Vulcan. I'll give that to you. You mediocre-ass room. Don't worry, it's getting better. You know, Parrish's room is now mediocre. Is he okay with that? Yes. It's still considered dull to him, so he's fine. I forgot about that. Rolstel's Vulcan, though, and Ironheart are both cool with having a good room, so this is a great piece of art. Oh, yeah, baby. Somewhat impressive. Incapacitated refugee quest. A 63-year-old medieval doctor who promises to join us. I'm going to tell you right now, dude, you're probably dead. I don't, I don't think I'm doing that. I don't think you could make me. So there's probably some mechanites, mechanoids in here, which means there's probably a source of components in there. Is that dangerous? Yeah. Is it stupid? Oh, probably. Am I thinking about doing it anyway? Yeah, kind of. We'll, uh, we'll play with that fire next time, though. For now, I'm gonna pick out some spots to mine, and that is gonna be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 19. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because you know it's gonna keep coming, and you know what else? It won't stop coming. Thank you again for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 19. My name is Thet, and I will see you, autosaving, in the next video.